with the prevalence of excellent carbon plated options. The speed shoe category is a subgenre that has undergone a lot of change, if not disappeared entirely. But yet, there are a handful of shoes that came out in 2022 that you might want to reach for on your quality session days that might not necessarily be your carbon plated racers. These are my top five speed shoes of 2022. The first shoe that I'm reaching for when I've got a big workout on the weekend is going to be the Adidas Prime X. For this year in 2022, they came out with the Prime X Strong, and this is actually the 2021 offering, the original Prime X, but essentially it's the same shoe from year to year with just a different upper. But it's what is in the midsole that makes this shoe so fantastic for those long runs that got a long stretch of marathon effort miles. So we've got Light Strike Pro and we've got two layers of rigid elements. We've got not only carbon energy rods, but we also have carbon energy blades that are at this lower level here. That's what this gold layer is here that you see through these little windows through the outsole. Plus you've also got that carbon plate that's in the heel back here. So there's many rigid elements that are working in conjunction with that Light Strike Pro to give you a really dampened experience that is also quite springy. It's a weird combination of things that on paper just doesn't make sense because it's way too tall at 50 millimeters of stack height and it's not always the most stable of shoes because it's really narrow through the midfoot and in the heel. But once you get going up to speed at marathon pace, it just wants to stay there and it feels really nice. The body also doesn't take as much of beating when you're in this shoe. So when it comes to those long, tough marathon workouts, the kind that you want to make sure you go to bed early for the night before, the Primax is my favorite speed shoe of 2022. Moving on to my second favorite, it is the ASIC Super Blast. Now this is a new shoe that just came on the market last month at the New York City Marathon, and it's got a big thick layer of FF Turbo. And unlike the Prime X, which uses a bunch of rigid elements in combination with a racing foam, this uses no carbon at all, and instead to stabilize everything, it uses a layer of FF Blast Plus, which is the same foam you find in great shoes like the Nova Blast 3. So it's an interesting combo, and at $220, it is an expensive shoe for something that doesn't have carbon in it but i'm trying to put that aside and think about does this shoe work and for those same workouts that i might reach for a primax i would also be really excited if the super blast was in my closet and because i love running marathon effort in this i even raced cim in it a couple of weeks ago that's why the super blast is one of my favorite quality session speed shoes of 2022 all right moving on to number three Here's where the pick starts to get a little bit weird, all right? So now we're gonna go to the only shoe that has shown up in two of my top five lists for 2022. That's a Takumi Sene. I told you guys I love this shoe. Now this shoe is a 5K, 10K racer. So it'd be weird for uh, someone who loves marathons and half marathons to enjoy this shoe so much. But even though it's meant for shorter distance racing, it's really good for threshold mile repeats and pretty much any other marathon workout, especially when I need to go a little bit faster than marathon pace. This is a shoe that's absolutely a blast to run in, even if the total distance for the run might be longer than a distance I might want to race in this thing. So I don't think that I'd want to race more than say a 15K in this shoe, but if I have a workout that in total is more than 13, 15, or even 17 miles, the Takumi Sen really kind of works. I just don't understand it. I don't know why. The Audios Pro also works for a lot of the same reasons, but this is just a little bit more nimble, a little bit more light, and it feels like it's just kind of like a more raw stripped down experience that's just really fun to run in. And because I enjoy reaching for this shoe on those quality sessions when I need to go fast, the Takumi Sen is one of my top five speed shoes of 2022. The next shoe is probably not gonna be on a lot of people's lists, but it's on mine and I already called it as the most underrated shoe of 2022. It's the Ultra Vanish Carbon. Now, I don't think that this is a zero drop shoe, even though Ultra is supposed to be all zero drop shoes, but I don't 
care. The shoe is really good. I really enjoy running it. This Ultra Ego Pro Foam is really nice and soft, but also responsive. And so when I'm on those long marathon workouts, this is a great shoe to have. Is it the most cushioned? Is it the most responsive? Is it like the best carbon plated racer out there? Probably not, but what I do appreciate about it is even though this is one of the slimmer fit shoes that Ultra makes, it is more generous in the toe box than most other racing shoes out there on the market. So for a shoe that you're gonna need to be in multiple times per week for your quality sessions, this is a shoe that's gonna be easier on your feet than a lot of those other more aggressive racer fit type of uppers. And because the fit here is so nice for me, along with a shoe that really works, that's why this is one of my favorite workout shoes for my quality sessions in 2022. All right, number five is probably the only kind of like traditional speed shoe. Because traditionally the speed shoe has been shoes like the Boston or like the Hyperion Tempo um, or like the Kinvara or other shoes that are a little bit more stripped down. Maybe see as almost like kind of like a knockdown from the carbon plated bigger sibling and you have like kind of the training companion. These shoes that I've talked about so far are really not training campaigns in kind of that sense because they're bringing kind of like pinnacle technology in each of them, although they're implementing different types of pinnacle technology. This last shoe though is pretty much a traditional speed day shoe and I actually really like it. It is the Asics Magic Speed 2. Now I feel like when I tried this shoe, I instantly thought this is the magic speed that we should have gotten in version one. Version one basically gave us another kind of like gussy it up Evo ride. And I really didn't feel like that felt like a suitable training companion to the Meta Speed series. This time I feel like with the Magic Speed 2, we do have that legitimate companion. There is a nylon shank in here as well, combined with the FF Blast Plus. Now I do think that they've done something to the FF Blast Plus foam, or it's that nylon shank that's in here, that makes this a much firmer ride than you would expect if you've run in other all FF Blast Plus shoes, like in the Nova Blast 3. So this is a little bit firmer of a ride, but I also feel like it's a little bit more snappy, and it kind of has that um, like early toe off position like the Metaspeed Edge Plus. So if you love that shoe, then I feel like you're absolutely gonna love this shoe as well, because I feel like the ride dynamics of both of those shoes are very similar. I was actually able to take this for a race in Eugene for a 5K and had a PR for me at that time in the year. Uh, so it's definitely something that's even race capable. So for some of you guys that are maybe not wanting to spend what it costs to work out in some of these other shoes, or maybe you want a shoe that you can work out in and race in and you're looking for a little bit more of a cost effective option, I do really feel like the Magic Speed 2 is it. And that's why I feel like it deserves a spot, especially because it's really the only like classic speed day shoe on this list. So, like I said, it's been kind of a weird year for speed shoes. It's a genre that I think may disappear next year. Who knows? We'll see. Cause you're gonna need a way to work out and some people don't wanna run in their race day shoes for all of their workouts. So I still feel like this is a genre of shoes that's going to exist, but I think even next year it's gonna get even wilder. I can't wait to see it. But I also wanna see what have you guys been working out in if it hasn't been your carbon plated racers in 2022, let me know in the comments down below, or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?